This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2004 Ford F-350 Crew Cab Long Bed. It's a 350 single rear wheel, obviously. It's four wheel drive, it's a 6 turbo diesel. It's a King Ranch leather package with the FX4 off-road suspension package. It has 187,431 actual miles. It was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in San Diego. And it's a hell of a nice truck. It's on a clear title. Um, we bring them here, we do an inspection. My guys hand me this. Uh, wow, runs, looks, drives great. See Carfax in the video. I'll show you the Carfax when we do the video uh, inside the truck. Uh, well maintained by previous owner, which is what the Carfax will show you. What do we know about it that's wrong? The rear power slider is an op and the parking sensors are an op. Two most common issues. Don't, do, don't fix either one of them. Um, it's probably $600 of parts for the rear window and a lot of back breaking, breaking labor, taking the back seat and the trim out. It's a pain in the ass. Same thing with the parking sensors. We've been parking cars forever uh, without them. I really don't understand. Those entire monitors make no sense. You'll find out which one it needs in the rear bumper. You'll replace it and then it still won't work. That's the way that goes. That's why we don't fix them because it's just a continuous, you know, droning on of that okay them and parking sensors so this one has two out of the big three <laughs> the only thing it doesn't have is parking sensors um we had to replace both outside front door handles when they stole it they broke both of them uh, we also had to replace the door cylinder and the ignition door cylinder uh lock cylinder on the driver door and the ignition okay i'm gonna walk around this truck i will uh point at stuff i see cosmetically that you might want to look at closer in the photo gallery if you care um it's a pretty truck really pretty truck and i'm told it runs and drives really nice so which doesn't really surprise me it looks like it by the way that's just a sticker i don't know why he put it on there it doesn't have any bank stuff on it i don't think i think maybe it has a exhaust tip um it does have uh in the inside pillar column it does have some uh aftermarket uh gauges which is why I thought it would probably have that stuff, but it doesn't. Or at one time it did and he took it off, who knows. But it doesn't now. Boy, this is a pretty truck. Really nice shape. Took good care of it. See, there's the bank's tip right here on the exhaust. He knew how to drive. At least he didn't destroy his tailgate like everyone does. He actually did a really nice job with this truck. Usually the, the bed will be all hammered and it's not. Yeah, the previous owner liked this truck. He took really good care of it. And he probably knew about the parking sensors and the rear slider and said, I don't want to deal with that. That stuff sucks. I would not suggest going there. All you're going to do is aggravate yourself for nothing when you don't need either one of them. So anyway, we replace this, place the, ignition, uh, the door cylinder and the uh, handle, okay? Obviously we had to have the handle painted. All right, let's fire this guy up. Hundred and eighty seven thousand four hundred and thirty seven miles Okay, all right, let's look at some paperwork here. Here's the Kelly blue book on the truck for a uh, f-350 King Ranch long bed 187,000 miles typical listing price would be fourteen thousand two hundred and eighteen dollars with a range of eleven two to fifteen one Okay Here is the uh, Carfax on the vehicle. There's the VIN uh, They blend the Carfax and the Kelly now so Carfax gives you a retail value of the vehicle with the history it has of 14.4. Damage, that's obviously the door handles. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Here's the VIN, no accidents, damage, that's door handles. I did this Carfax just now, 10 23 of 19. It's brand new Carfax here. The reason I don't, we don't put a link in here is that Carfax wants us to uh, 
pay them for every link. We already pay them $1,000 a month for the uh, Carfax, so we would just pass that on to you. So what's the point of it, right? And as you can see, this is why the truck is in such good shape. But, uh, new turbocharger at the end of uh, 06. Last service was at 184 757. Um, it says damage right and left side. Well, we know what that is. That's, those are the door handles. <laughs> All right, here's the title that we got uh, from uh, Inter Insurance. There's the VIN. Inter Insurance, 187,431 miles. 1014 of 19 sold to Wheel Kinetics. Okay, there you go. Now you've seen all the paperwork we have on it. Let's go under the hood. We're going to be looking for Ford stamps on both sides of the core support and on both fenders. That'll tell you that they're original parts. Uh, we're also going to take off the uh, oil cap and look for blow-by. There's the Ford stamp on this fender, so it's the original fender. Ford stamp there. Give me another Ford stamp right there. And another one right there. And another one right there. So everything up front is original, right? Nothing replaced. That matters for obvious reasons. Look at that. No blow by at all. That's because the guy took care of it. Beautiful. All right. Window up and down. Door locks. You can seat on and off. Seat forward. Back, down, up, tilt forward, down, up, down. Seats are in very good condition. We have a manual, manual wheel lock tools and keys here. Little uh, plug for the phone that goes to that radio, aftermarket radio. This is a pretty truck, really pretty truck. It's a big ad on these trucks to have uh, captain's chairs in the back. And I forgot, I didn't know that it had captain's chairs in the back. But yeah, having a captain's chair with a center console adds a lot of money to the book on this and I didn't book it. So it probably adds another 500 bucks to this truck easily. seats look fantastic This seat looks great. Usually the driver's seats are hammered. This one looks great. There you go. Ugh. Let me look at the roof here real quick. A little bit of fading here on the front edge of the roof, which is very normal. None on the hood. All right. Little seat belt on here. This is a pretty, pretty truck. I like this truck a lot. More evidence here, right? So there's an oil change sticker. It says next mile oil change at 195, 344, which would be in about 4,000 miles. So there's your aftermarket stuff. I think maybe you just had this stuff and put it on. Um, 
I never go by these, by the way. I always go by the dash, because you never know. All right, let's see. That's just a radio. I think, I don't know if it's got, let's see if we got anything. No, it's just a radio. Um, air is blowing ice cold. You got power pedals up and down. Those work fine. Boom. Let's see, what else we got going on here? Tow, see the light right there, on and off. On and on and off. Ah, uh, better check this. Moon roof. All right, let's see. Let's see, let's go for a little ride here. Let's try the four wheel drive first. There's your four low. That's four low. And reverse and four low. Okay, go to neutral. Now we go from low four high okay drive this is in four high in reverse four high all right neutral now we're gonna go back to two-wheel drive go for right all right if you come to Sun drive at home this is how what will happen you'll pay tax and dock fee dock fee is $250 tax is whatever your state tax rate is um, plus our city of 2.6%. So you'll pay your state plus our city of 2.6 and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're going to pay is the agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive full payment by wire, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, sign it off to you, scan it, off, scan it into your online file so you'll be able to see what it looks like immediately, and then we'll mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope, we mail it in, okay? Uh, like I said, everything that we know, you will know, and it'll happen as fast as we can make it happen, all right? Um, you'll arrange to have the vehicle shipped to you. We'll have put the, in the, the title in the mail. The truck will show up. You already have the title from the mail. When it shows up, you'll go to Motor Vehicles with your truck and your title. Simple, all right? Deposit. Once we have an agreed upon price, please make sure you get your deposit in. Once we have that deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. Uh, God, this thing runs great. Really good. Uh, nice shifting, good running, nice truck. Um, so get that deposit. The last part of every video, I've been doing this for, I don't know, 13 years now. This is, oh God, literally thousands of videos. Um, if you watch any of my videos, I'll say the same thing at the last two or three minutes. Um, we don't have um, uh, bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a lounge to hang out in. We don't have game room we don't have scones and all that crap they have all that at the auto mall which is about eh, about a mile that way they also have a really nice location that they pay for you just saw where we came from so you're not paying for location you're not paying for a snacks and an attendant and a snack bar we also don't have salesmen to pay so you're not paying for salesmen so you're saving a bunch of money on that stuff they also know at the auto mall that if something breaks on this truck and they owned it and sold it to you that you would come back and say fix it uh, that's included in the price too. So you're paying for repairs, salesmen, scones, bottled water, lounge, and zip code. You're paying for none of those with us because we're not doing any of those, all right? We don't have those and we're not doing those. When you own this truck, you are going to fix your own truck. We're saving you a ton of money uh, the way we do things. Some of that money will in fact absolutely have to go into repair sooner or later. And if it's the day you buy it, it's the day you buy it, okay? Um, now. We saw the Carfax, we saw the blow-by that doesn't exist. It's got none. Um, this truck was obviously babied, uh, but you never know. If it breaks, you have to fix your truck, okay? And you're saving a fortune with us, so use some of that fortune, you're still gonna be up a lot of money, okay? That's the way we roll. Um, I think that's about it. I wish this guy would move so I could get on it, but we'll be turning on to Gardner Lane here in a second. And Gardner Lane is basically proof that high taxes we st between state and city in Tucson we pay 8.7 percent um, it's proof that 
high taxes don't mean good roads. <laughs> Our road is like, I, I bet my life that Bolivian roads are better than this road, all right? We're basically four-wheeling. I don't know if you can see this mess, but it's a mess. So it's a good test for vehicles, especially trucks and vibrations and stuff, because it's terrible. And uh, actually for one ton, it should be bouncing me all over the place and making noise, and it's not. This truck is nice, really nice. It's a solid rig. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this out here for my brother to take photos of. Um, I think that's about it. We need to sell these big ones though. Look at our yard, it's packed right now, so we need space, which is why uh, he's being very generous with the pricing lately. So, I think, that's, uh, I think that's about it. Let me put it right here, out of the way of this Explorer. He's gonna do photos of next. They're milling the street down the, the runway drive down the street down here. So these are millings from it. When it gets wet, it'll make a nice little pad for us, which is why it looks so gross right here. But pretty soon it's gonna look good and uh, it'll cut down some of the dust. That's why it looks like this. Anyway, I think that's about it. Thank you for your time.